This playthrough is rated M for Mature. We are ready for our reward. Our eternal reward. Greetings and salutations viewers, Von are back here with another episode of God of War. In the last episode we finished the Architect's Tomb, got, you know, found out what happened to him and his family, ended up having to kill his wife and a bunch of nasty stuff, and I guess that's what it is for, you know, being a, a productive member of the, you know, the gods themselves, but uh, we found Pandora's box, so let's get this thing open and prepare to fight Ares. Kratos, your quest is at an end. You are the first mortal to ever reach Pandora's box. There is still time to save Athens. You must bring the box back to my city and use it to kill Ares. Return to Athens, Kratos. Return and save my city. So we got all the way here just to, op to get to the box, but not even open it here? What? Come on, man. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, we're able to just get all the way back here. Huh. Well, thanks for that game. I appreciate it, Athena. Making a backdoor entrance for this thing. Alright. Just gotta push this thing. Oh, I guess I can only do it from the side. Alright, that's fun. Don't let me kick it or anything. Man, the thing looks ominous. That's not what I expected Pandora's box to look like, at least when it came to the mythologies, but... Hey, why not? You must bring Pandora's box back to Athens, Kratos. You cannot defeat Ares without it. Well, not with that attitude, but I get what you're saying there. So, all right, let's get this thing out the door. All right, Twinkle Bell, we're going to get you out the door and into the streets. Or however the line goes. Hmm. Can we get to can we get to move a little bit faster? Just just uh, man. After a thousand years, Pandora's box was at last freed of its confines. Kratos had found the means to destroy the god of war. Far away in Athens, Ares knew Kratos had succeeded in his quest. So, little Spartan, you've recovered Zeus's precious box. But you will not live long enough to see it opened. I will see to that. <laughs> Goodbye, Spartan. You will rot in the depths of Hades for all eternity. As the life began to leave Kratos, his thoughts returned to that fateful night. Even in death. The memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the guard of war. My wife, my child, how they were left in Sparta. You are becoming all I'd hoped you'd be, Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. 
In the end, in death, he had failed. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos' life faded, and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. And Kratos fell into the underworld, the river Styx beckoning below, the current strong enough to carry even the strongest mortal to his eternal resting place. But Kratos had no intention of resting yet. He intended to live, to return to Earth and complete his quest. Let go, fool! You won't drag me down to that cursed river! There is a task left for me above. I will see it completed. You again? Well, we've done it. We've we uh, we've hit hell, and uh, not one uh, not be the first time either in this series. It won't be the last. And yeah, that was the captain from before. <laughs> nice, nice dark humor there. But all right, be prepared for one of the most annoying places in the game, the Path of Hades. Oh yes, you'll find out soon why this place is annoying. But uh, it's not the worst thing ever, but it is a very annoying place. So right, let's go ahead and save it. Oh, did I forget to reset the memory? No, I, I reset it. Okay. Sometimes I have to reset the memory card every once in a while, just to make sure it works. All right. Cool. Yep, we are. Yeah, we're gonna be hearing that a lot. The screams of the damned, you know. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. I was trying to remember which places have the uh, orbs and stuff like that. No, I got something over there. Never mind. <clears throat> Yeah, this place, you can basically die at basically any moment. And there's a lot of tricks and traps here that are quite obnoxious to deal with. You'll find out soon why. You know, but, uh, eh, what's a little... I mean, it is hell, so I guess I guess it makes sense there'd be a bit of a challenge here, if you know what I mean, so... Yeah, let's grab all these orbs, which are basically pointless. There's, like, no... Not a lot to them, so... Oh, well. Yep. Let's see... I don't think there was anything over there. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Not every path leads to out of Hades. Wait, well, doesn't Hades, like, want us to survive? So, you know, shouldn't we just talk to the big man himself, you know? But anyway, we got some new enemies here. Uh, well, they're basically just... Well, I mean, we fought them before, but just slightly different. By that, I mean just... <clears throat> Oops, I keep activating that instead by accident. But yeah, you think with uh, Hades wanting us to beat Ares, and all the gods apparently want to beat Ares. Oh yeah, and hello Steve Bloom, who voices Ares in this game. Yeah, I hear him everywhere in, in the early 2000s, you know. I mean, he still does voice work and everything like that. It's just, back in the early 2000s, he was everywhere for me anyway. You know, Hades, Spike, you know, a lot of anime characters and stuff like that. Not, you know. But, uh, yeah, good to see he gets work. You know, he still gets work, just... I don't know if he gets as much as he used to, but I still hear him every once in a while. And one of his more famous roles, he gets to play Wolverine. And with, uh, I think by the time this uh, game comes out, a new game called Midnight Suns is out where uh, he gets to play as Wolverine again, which is nice. <coughs> I've heard some issues with that game, mainly from the story sto aspect of it. But I'm not going to talk. Obviously, this is a different game, so we'll leave it at that. So. All right. Nice. Took a little bit more damage than I'd like, but hey. Lovely. So we had to get to the top of that tower, apparently. Maybe we're trying to climb out of Hades? Or the uh, hell itself? Why can't we just ask Hades to get us out of here? Oh boy, here's one of many <coughs> puzzles, the uh, chopping blocks. So. Luckily, the early parts aren't so bad. But, uh, yeah, we have to make sure not to get hit once, because otherwise we'll die. I mean, luckily the game has a reasonable, uh, <coughs> reasonable checkpoint system here, but still. All right, let's see if we can get to that. Get to that over there. You also have to be careful. From what I remember, yeah. See, <clears throat> the uh, the hitboxes on the blades are a bit wonky 
uh, from what I remember. Like, if you get, like, you have to get, um, even if you get generally close, you still hit them, you know, that type of thing. So you just have to be kind of careful. Of course, if I die multiple times, I might just start skipping boxes at this point, you know what I mean? Let's see if we can... I just gotta be... Uh-oh. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, get knocked over the edge. Or die. One of the two. Isn't that nice? Okay. Uh-oh. Almost got hit by that thing. That would've sucked. Oof. Yeah, I gotta be careful, man. Oh, God. Knocked him off. Nice. Yeah, I like the effects of this place. I mean, hell is definitely a nasty place. Look at that. Look, uh, it looks like veins or something like that coming out of these, like, little, you know, openings here and stuff like that. You know, the screams of the damned in the background and stuff like that. You know, just, I don't know, just a lot of, a lot of flavor to this place. Obviously, and everyone always has to do their version of, uh... Oh, it flips around, huh? Well, you didn't get me this time, Mr. Holmes. Or, uh, Mr. Hades. Or... Ooh, things are getting faster now. Oh, boy. Okay, good. Let's see if I can make that jump. Okay, cool. <clears throat> you have to be very careful. Sorry if I'm not talking as much as I usually do. Because, uh, you know... I'm trying to focus here. Yeah, make sure I don't get hit by the uh, the blades. Yep. I might have to uh, do the lightning bolt ability on that guy, maybe. Ah, thought I finished him off. Oh, come on, man. Then again, I haven't been I haven't been uh, upgrading the uh, the bol bolts very much. Really, in this game, really the the blades of Artemis and uh, and uh, the Ra Poseidon's Wrath are really the best enemies in the game. Er, enemies uh, abilities in the game to power up. Oh god, <laughs> oof! That almost got me there. Oh man! Yeah, I almost got hit by the thing. Like I said, you had to be careful with the uh, the hit boxes on these on these guys. Okay. Like I said probably not worth it really in the long run of things. I hate going uh, backwards, but oh, gives me a, a few second reprieve. Yep. One more to go. Oh god, no! Uh, I should have known that was gonna happen. All right, where's it put me back? Okay, good. It doesn't put me completely back. I said it was it was at least generous with the uh, with the say with the checkpoint. So there. Yeah, it means I have to do that again. Man, I, I was I thought I was I was actually doing pretty well for myself. I was like, oh man, I'm probably not gonna get hit by these things, you know. But nope, I failed you. I failed you. Luckily, these guys are pretty easy to kill up here just because of, you know, you're having to deal with them and the difficulty of um, of these spinning blades and everything like that. Yeah, I guess one easy way to do it would be just to wait until this thing slows down, but, you know, it depends on how, how long you're willing to wait, I guess. You know, just got to be careful with this part right here. Oh, good. Wasn't actually expecting it to slow down by that point, so. Of course, now we're about to speed up uh, speed up again. Speed up! Yeah, you also have to be careful because uh, your. Uh, um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, you have to be careful because uh, you just moving normally without jumping is not enough to uh, make it to that part, so. Alright, where's. Uh, double checking to see if there's any chests over there. Otherwise, I can just skip I skip part of it. Yep. Alright. Can't really tell if there's a... Oh, there is a box over there. 
Well, I want to I want to have my Wrath of Poseidon at least generally leveled up by the end of the game. So, yeah, I'll wait for the next go around. Oh, you had to. St oh, you had to stop there, huh? Okay. Oh, nice. Uh oh. Flaming, uh, flaming harpies. As far as I'm aware, of, I don't. Unless you purposely jump off, I don't think the uh, like enemies can actually knock you off these things. So there's another plus. Definitely would not want to mess with that. That's for sure. And of course, we've taken quite a few hits, as you can see there. So. Ow. Just knock them all off, even though they can fly. But whatever. Yeah. Any more? Oh. Nope. Yep. Yeah, just keep flying over here. I'll, I'll, I'll take you down all day. Are you done? Are we done, you rings? Okay. Also, a reason I, I you know, normally I would uh, like start beefing up my abilities at this point, but. <coughs> The fact is, if I die, I'll have to do that all over again, so I'm not going to do that, just in case. Oh, she... See what I mean? Like, the the hitbox being a bit finicky? Like, I wasn't really that close to it, and yet I got hit by it, so... <clears throat> At least I didn't feel like I was that close. And this isn't even the worst of it, to tell you the truth. Ow. Yeah, I might have to... I hate to activate the... Sp uh, you know, the... Uh, Rage of the rage of the gods for just something like this. If I get too weak, you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm doing a very bad job of uh, blocking here. Luckily, the normal attacks seem to be doing okay. Don't have to do anything crazy. Ah, I know it's coming too, and I. I don't press the block fast enough. Are you done? Okay, you're done. Let's see. Alright, I think I've got this. Yeah, I've got to be careful. I don't over jump it. Yeah. Alright, that's part one. Great. Awesome. Yeah, we definitely need the healing one for sure. Didn't really use up much magic anyway. All right, let's go ahead and save it. Well, I said, not the worst, but dangerous. No, yeah, here pretty soon we're going to come up to a worst section. Hooray. Yeah, the uh, tower there, as you can see. You'll find out in a second why. It's kind of annoying. I'm probably making this worse than it actually is, but I do find it quite obnoxious. Uh, Ow. I was about to say, game's not really letting me... Uh, oh, wait, I could just activate the Blades of Artemis. Or the Armies of Hades, I mean. I don't know why I keep saying the Blades of Artemis. Whoa. All right. Oh, man, those are so useful. Uh, that's such a useful spell. Thank you. Thank you, Army of Hades. Thank you. And hopefully you'll... Uh, I'll get to red circle you here in a second. Oh, yeah, we got a new variation on the Minotaur, or the Hell Minotaur, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I mean, I like to call it the Hell uh, Hell's Minotaur, but you can call it whatever you want. You can do whatever you like, you like. Of course, it means I'm out of magic, though, because of the, Ar the Hell Army's Hades Blade is uh, kind of pricey of a spell. That's why you want a backup spell like uh, the Wrath of Poseidon to make up if you don't have enough magic for that, you can just activate that instead. Ooh, looks like there's some magic over there. Oh boy, there it is. There's the thing. Or the start of the thing, anyway. Oh, there's another magic one here. Two, oop. Nope. Ah. Try not to take too much damage, although there is a uh, heal, heal thing there, so... And we can't get the heal from the um, Minotaurs when we take them out, so there's that. Eh, eh, eh. Take this, eat it, 
Eat it. Don't chance around it. Just beat it. I mean, eat it. Sorry, I got my uh, Weird Al and, uh, and uh, Michael Jackson mixed up. Oh, nice. Well, have you found out if you have enough iron in your breakfast? It's good for your blood. I know that I know the blades of chaos probably aren't made of iron, but that doesn't matter. It matters to me, man. Man, all these guys just for some extra orbs, huh? Oh yeah, and I think I'm gonna hold. I'm not gonna upgrade the blade of Artemis for the rest of the game because I forgot that really the blade doesn't do much for the finale. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> or at least it's not your best option. The Blades of Chaos are actually your best option. So, oh, I hate when this happens. It's always like some, uh, like yeah, you like either have to hit him or do something to like get the uh, hitbox to fix itself with the circle button there. But that's fine. It's not that I didn't take that much damage. Still, it's a it's a bit of a. Probably the most useful ability in the game is the attack of Hercules. Yeah. No, I didn't need this. I didn't need the healing anyway. All right, grab that. I, mean, I guess I'm since I'm basically at a checkpoint. I guess I can go ahead and upgrade the uh, uh, Poseidon's Rage while we're here. So I'll upgrade to level the uh, next level if I can, and then stop from there. But uh, bigger, more am damage, bigger area. So. Uh, we can also rapidly press the circle button to, to get extra damage and continue the combo with it. I'll show that off whenever I get to it. So, right, Let's upgrade to level 3. Bigger damage area. More power. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I probably should have done this earlier over the course of the game, but you know I am. Alright, level 3. Bigger damage area, more power. And you can still do the circle thing for that. And we've hit max, so alright. Um... I guess, I guess we could do Zeus's Fury. I've hardly been using um, uh, using um, Medusa's Gaze, even though it is a useful ability. I just haven't been using it. I mean, there could be some use for this as well. But anyway, with the uh, increase in this, we can hold L2 and press uh, hold the triangle button for a charge attack, which does a lot more damage, depending on how you want to do things. Yeah, they're stronger attacks, supercharged attack, bolts fire faster. So yeah, I could have done this earlier, but if you know what you're doing, you can get you can get away with not having these maxed out or anything like that. All right, maxed out that. I guess I guess we'll max start working on Medusa's gaze. I guess at this point, might as well drain, drain orbs, drain. You can do it. Stronger Freeze Beam, the Gor uh, Gorgon Flash, which basically does a burst of um, freeze. So it's if you do it right, you could instantly freeze certain enemies. Not all enemies, but some will freeze instantly if you do it. But it's a chunk of magic when you do that. So be pre be aware of that. Although it probably is more efficient to do the blast than it is to do the regular beam, depending on what it is. But yep. more dudes. You know, could have skipped them and went straight to the pillar, but no. You know, have to deal with archers here and minotaurs. Oh, my. I do like the fact that there's always, like, a body flying in the background or something like that, you know. Nope, nope, not going to hit me. Not going to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Hey now, don't hit me while I'm trying to hit those archers. They're the bane of my existence. And you don't like me when I... Nice. I mean, I lose on out on some orbs, but... You know. Don't... You know, the... Since I'm not going to be upgrading the Blades of Artemis anyway, so... Ah. Oh yeah, the only... I guess the only bad thing would be I would lose out on the, on the uh, healing uh, that you get for knocking them out, but... At least there's a chest over there for healing. I'll just hold off on doing magic. If it gets that bad. Oof. Man, you cheap sons of guns. Man, I can almost hear, ha hardly hear anything because of all the noise in the background. Man, I keep knocking the uh, Minotaurs off the edge. I'm surprised the game lets you do that, to, to tell you the truth. You know, 
it could be just as easy to prevent them from being knocked out if like they have a, a, an immunity block or something like that on them. But nope. They do not. And that is to the detriment of them, not me. Alright, here it is. Oh boy. And there's multiple ones of them too. The Pillars of Hades. Oh, these things. Oh, man. Well, let's see what happens. This is one of those things that if you mess up, you might just end up uh, like quitting to a checkpoint instead because of uh, how annoying it is to go through this. So, yeah, these are the Pillars of Hades. Uh, you have to go up this tower here, climb it, and uh, make sure you don't get hit because if you get hit, you probably are going to fall all the way back down. So, And you have to be careful because, the uh, like with the other area, the hitboxes on this are a little funky. So if you get even, yeah, like that, see? See how I just basically went to the bomb and I got hit once? Uh, of course, that was kind of my bad. I did jump into it, so, you know, but still. You just have to be kind of careful. Really, I would just suggest kind of taking it slow, you know? Don't try to rush it. I mean, rush it if you can, but you have to be careful, because, you know. All right, let's try that. Let's see if we can, no, that one's gonna be annoying. Yep, uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope, nope, nope. Huh? All right. I've heard in the uh, re-releases of this game that I've heard the the finickiness of this tower is even worse, actually, um, than uh, what we're doing right now. Like I've heard it, it they didn't code it right or something like that. So if you get like the remastered version or the collection edition or whatever it is, I heard it's a bit more of a problem for this section. But like. But yeah, the, the the major part will be the second section right here. That's the one we have to worry about. Maybe we'll get lucky. Stay up all night to get lucky. That it? Alright. Might as well get a bit of that healing razzle dazzle, as it were. Alright, here we go. Oops. Good start, good start. Good hustle team. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the work you put into this. Luckily, there's no um, there's no um, blades on the end of this thing, so you don't have to worry about like um, like getting cut while uh, jumping through this thing. You know what I mean? Lucky me. All right. Oh, here comes. I think this is the here. Pretty soon, we're gonna get to the big one where where it's gonna be some weird finagling where we have to. Hopefully, we're at the right track and we can uh, jump through this thing. So. Okay, so good so far. Yeah, sorry if the sound is a little wonky. It's just because of the, the setup I've got for this isn't perfect. So, all right, we did it. Huh. I remember that being worse than I originally intended. Well, there you go, folks. I think it, it, I think it must be the collector. Or collectors. I think it is the remaster I'm thinking of. Because I remember playing one version of this and being very frustrated with this tower section here. But no, that was actually not that bad. Huh. Yeah, like I said, maybe I just remember the, the new version instead of the old one. Yeah, if, I guess if you want an easier time through the uh, through the Path of Hades, just uh, get the original PS2 version, I guess. Yeah. All right. Hmm. I guess I overblew it a little bit, so you blew it. Uh, so sorry. I guess sorry for over over challenging it. I guess because I only fell down a couple of times. So. Hmm. Oh well, maybe maybe I'm just on game on point today or something like that. There are some days where I'm really bad at like certain games or whatever, like I'm not feeling it, and then other days I'll just be, I'll just be boom, bang, bing, you know, I've got it, you know what I mean? Now we got some uh, chests over in the corner here. Can we actually get to that now, or do I, have to, I probably should fight them first before more uh, spearmen or whatever you want to call them, or staff masters? Yeah, I always respect the staff. It's a very handy weapon. Little John, Robin Hood, you know, a lot of animes. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, ho. If you want to get to the next section, we're going to have to kill a lot of these guys. Well, I can do that, my friend. I am not above killing hellish creatures for fun. I just have to wrangle them up, you know. I guess I could be using magic, but I'm, I'm waiting to see how bad it gets before I start doing that. I always, I always have a bad habit of like just waiting to use my magic, so a lot of times I'll end up not using it effectively because I'll be like, no, I need 
I need it for a rainy day. It's like the the rage of the gods, you know. I I've only used it once, you know, so far. Oh. So, because uh, I keep waiting to save it for a rainy day, and uh, I only had to use it once because I was about to die in that one section where we killed the uh, Spartan, sacrificed uh, Rob Paulson to uh, the gods. I wonder if he even remembers that role. Although it's such a brief role, I doubt he'd remember. Most most voice actors do not remember their roles unless it's a role they've been doing for like years and years. You know, if you ask, uh, hey, how'd you feel about doing this one character? If like if it was one appearance of him, yeah, he's not going to remember it. So. If you want some funny interaction, try recalling some voice actors when they do work in the adult film industry. Some of them have uh, done voice work for uh, for uh, um, overdubs and uh, certain cartoons, if you know what I mean. So, and uh, not that I know from experience, mind you, but I'm just saying, you, if you recognize a voice, bring it up to one of them and see what they say. So, they probably don't remember either, but that'd be funny if they did. They're like, uh, there was a time in my life, uh, wasn't I needed the money? Probably wasn't even that much. Probably only like a hundred bucks. I know it's uh, voice actors are paid per session, so it depends, and it depends on obviously the session. Usually, it's depending on the voice. It's usually not much. It's usually like maybe like a maybe hundred dollars per session, or maybe more. And uh, I don't know. Like I said I I'm not an expert. I just remember it's actually pretty low depending on who you are. If you're famous or got a really famous role, you could probably get more money from just saying, hey, you need me, you know, that type of thing, because my voice is iconic. You'd be surprised how often people, you know, don't want to, still don't want to pay you your, your due despite despite what you represent. So, I mean, heck, that happened to uh, uh, the original guy, this, the guy who voiced the God of War in this game. They were originally going to bring it back for the new game, but I forgot there was, like, there was some reason in the background. I don't remember. I just remember that they didn't get him back for the new game. So, oh, I don't even need the trust. Huh. All right. Cool. All right, more orbs. And more orbs. All right, got our final road to uh, to the end here. Oh, hey now. I guess I could have used a. Uh, you know what? I I, sh I shouldn't have known that was gonna happen. I don't know. I had a feeling. I I, I had a thought. Wait, do I have to? I should have just switched to my bolts and just just dealt with them. You know what I mean? But no, like a moron. I let him I let him hit me. Man, I told you sometimes I'm on my game and sometimes I'm not. You'd be surprised how often in in action games like this I've died to the stupidest reasons. Like I said, in this game at least it's it's uh you know not the worst. It doesn't punish you that badly. At least not in the normal version of the game. So. Can't even hit the. All right, let's show off the charge bolt, just to show off what it does. Yeah, it uh, does like kind of a mini explosion on them. So, all right, we've almost made it, almost made it to the top. Harry, I've reached the top. All right, well, there's the top there. But what awaits us when we stand up there? Will we actually be able to climb our way out of hell? And what of Ares? Can we get back at him? Destroy him with our fit and anger? And, you know, remove this curse and save the world? Or at least Greece, I guess in this case, or Athens? We'll find out next time in the next episode and the finale of God of War. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.